Good evening, good afternoon, good morning. Welcome to the Leadership TKO Live Night Show. I am Lakeisha McKnight, your leadership specialist, wealth mentor, online entrepreneur, author of a few books, and most importantly, your friend. And so I do want to welcome each and every one of you here to the Leadership TKO Live Night Show. And welcome specifically right now to those of you who are on the podcast platforms. So whether you're catching this live or the replay, make sure you're tuned in every single night, okay? 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time as we're streaming live just for you. Now we are about to prepare to go live on Facebook, so please stand by. All right. Well, good evening. Good morning. Good afternoon, depending on where you are in the world right now. This is Lakeisha McKnight, your leadership specialist, your wealth mentor, online entrepreneur, author of a few books, but most importantly, your friend, your mentor. And so I welcome you here to the Leadership TKO live night show. We're live and we are at it yet again for each and every one of you who are on Facebook, okay? And even for those of you who are on the podcast platforms, we are live on several platforms out there. And we're just extremely grateful and humble, grateful most importantly to God that it gives us the ability to use these platforms. And so remember everyone, this show goes live every single night around 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time with the purpose of empowering leaders like yourself. That's right. You are a leader. All right. If we're connected, you are a leader. And so empowering leaders like yourself with the ability to win from the inside out, growing your influence, your impact, and your income. And so I do want to welcome each and every one of you here to the TKO Live Night Show. Now, there are several ways to be involved with this show. What we encourage you to do is definitely, number one, like or love the stream. That's right. Like or love the stream. For those of you who are looking to grow your income, Maybe you're looking to grow your ability to lead. Okay, raise that lid on your leadership ability because everything is at the foundation, the foundation of all that we do. Remember, it really has a lot to do with leadership. And so I encourage each and every one of you once again to definitely plug into the show so we can all grow together. And so also, if you're looking to really impact more lives and really truly understand this whole dynamic, of being able to make money while you sleep so that you don't have to continue working until you pass on, well, this channel, this particular show is going to help you to do just that. And so I welcome you here. And so as I've encouraged you to do this, you know, like, love, share, that's right, share this stream as you're tuning into it, share it on your timelines, groups, fan pages as well, launch your own watch party in conjunction to this as we're live or If you're catching the replay, you can still do a watch party. And then the other point, too, is that for those of you who are here and you're watching this live or catching the replay, comment and let me know where you're watching from. So what city, state, and country you are tuning in from. And if you're catching the replay, make sure that you hashtag replay for me, okay? Now, many of you probably saw the title. I know you saw the title of this is a little different. It's still definitely helpful for entrepreneurs who are building businesses online, home-based business owners, whether you're in e-commerce or any other type of space, and even those of you who are working a J-O-B, okay? And so I'm going to share with you, you know, the differences between the types of income that many can bring in and perhaps even yourself. And then if you're truly trying to accomplish financial freedom, you have to assess what type of income you're actually focusing in on and dependent on? Like what type of income are you primarily bringing in as of today? All right. And then also how are you planning to bring in more income from another category that's going to help you to create financial freedom? Because financial freedom, you know, think about it for yourself. Some people have their own definition of how they define freedom. And I would love to hear from you in the comment section. Let me know how do you define freedom? financial freedom. Okay. I want to hear, I want to know what you think about, you know, that particular concept, because when I think about financial freedom, I'm thinking about the ability to, to be able to live, you know, have that residual income coming in. That's going to cover your living expenses. 
So any expenses that you would need from day to day, whether it's taking care of a rent, rent, mortgage, light bill, whatever expenses you have, food, taking care of yourself and your family. If you're able to take care of those things and you don't have any debt, okay, we're talking about debt that, you know, stuff that you owe other people. Listen, we're talking about that as well. So if you have what you need, okay, and you have residual income coming in, yeah, then you may be, of course, in, on the brink, on that crust of being financial, financially free. And so I want to talk to you about the three types of income. So I'm going to share my screen really quick. And again, we're not going to be here a long amount of time, but I do want to share with you this quick image that I believe will be very, very helpful. All right. So hopefully you should be seeing and viewing uh, my screen. Okay. And if this is helping you in any way, send those hearts out here. Okay. And then also what I'm going to do before I even dive into it all the more, I'm going to make sure I share this with a couple of colleagues of mine. So let me go ahead and do that. All right. I'm going to share this with a couple of business colleagues. Share this out. This is going to be very important because a lot of people do not know. They think they know, but they have no clue as to whether they're on the path to financial freedom. So I'm looking down and I'm sharing this to my official fan page at the present moment. So these are the, you know, the general three categories of income, general three categories. Now, the first one is active income. This is where income is generated from trading time for money. Okay. Many of you, you remember Robert Kiyosaki and his four cash, cash flow quadrants, right? His four quadrants, employee, self-employed, business owner, and then investor. So in other words, looking at it from this particular angle here, you know, active income really is dependent upon you being present. Okay. You have to be putting in the sweat equity, most of the work, like you're there completely. And if you're not there, guess what? You're not bringing in the income. So this includes salaries, wages, commissions, okay. Commissions, bonuses, consultation services, you have to be there. And if you're not there providing a service, right? Guess what's happening? You're not bringing in anything. Now we're not knocking jobs again. That's why I said this is one category. And a lot of people, you know, they're looking for this. They had this before the pandemic, or you may have it, but you might be actively, you know, accessing this from home because some people are actually doing their jobs from home. And if you do have a place of employment and you're bringing in something to feed your family, that's what's important, right? But if you're looking for financial freedom, exchanging hours for dollars, your time for cash is not going to help you to be free. And as you're progressing in age, your body is going to begin speaking to you. And for some of you, your body has already spoken <laughs> and is speaking loudly. I know many of you are probably like, yes, it is, Lakeisha. And so listen, you need to make a transition. You need to figure out a plan of action so that you don't have to depend on active income all of your life because you will end up working until you pass on. And so again, that's one form of income. Then you got passive income. Passive income is when income generated from your assets you know, is actually able to work for you actively, okay? It works without you physically being present. This is what we're talking about here. And of course, this involves a business. This involves royalties for those of you who have books or music, like albums, and it's generating revenue for you, okay? Movies, just like actors, right? You know, when their movies are replayed or or rappers or singers, when their songs are constantly replayed, guess what? They have royalties. Okay. Also rental properties. You got affiliate marketing, of course, which is what to a degree I'm involved in. I'm involved in e-commerce and then multi-level marketing, multi-level marketing, or some people call it MLMs. Okay. And this is where you have different levels. You make a certain amount of income or revenue at different ranks or different levels. And so again, this is passive income guys. And this is what comes in, you know, whether you're present or not, the income is still coming in. Now, of course, you're sewing a lot at the very beginning, you know, you're putting in some effort at the very beginning, but then gradually, guess what? You're not putting in as much effort because your property or your network that you've built is actually enabling you to have that cash to flow into your home, right? Or into your business, whether you're physically present there or not. 
This is passive income. This is the type of income you would want if you're going or trying to get on that path to freedom. Now, constantly having to be present to do something, again, that's active income. Passive income is you don't really need to be present to truly bring in the income. And that's where you want to be. Now, also, there's portfolio income, where income generated from selling. This is income generated from selling away any investment at a higher price that you than you paid for it. Okay, so this is where, you know, you get to cash in, you get to check in. All right. So you get the asset, you hold it. Right. And then you may have some capital gains, you know, after a couple of years, you know, and it's appreciating and you turn it in. Guess what? That's the gains. You profit and you receive the gains because you held on to it over a period of time. So we're talking about, again, capital gains, shares, stocks, again, collectibles like paintings, paintings, the wealthy and the rich know. That real, true wealth, again, you got to have that land, you got to have paintings, and of course, you got that precious metal, okay? So you got to consider these things. This is, what the, this is what the wealthy accumulates, and they pass down to their children and their children's children, and this is how wealth is stored within the wealthy. And a lot of times, we don't know this. And so, again, collectibles, currency exchange, Currency exchange. Now, who is exchanging the currency? Are you or are the banks doing that to the cash that you're putting into their banking system? That's a question because behind the closed doors, you really need to know what's going on with the cash that you're depositing in a traditional banking system. So you will want to learn the trade of trading currencies. And that's why I'm so excited. I'm so happy you know, and think about this for yourself. Once again, I encourage those of you who are really seeking financial freedom to really make that move to be involved with passive income, residual income. And then of course, consider some portfolio income, making sure that the risk is not high. And that's why I enjoy, you know, being able to accumulate assets such as gold because it doesn't have any risk to it. And so that's just my particular strategy, a part of my strategy that you know, my husband and I, we implement and several others that we're, we're connected to, they implement as well. Uh, but you want to make sure you, that you assess and find out what's best for you because there are some experts out there that do talk about different types of portfolio income that's even great during times of crisis. So you want to be wise. Some people ask the question, well, Akisha, what is it that you do? Do you have stocks? Do you have this? Do you have that? Well, the truth of the matter is I have some of a few things. OK, I'm not going to tell you exactly what I have, but I have a lot of a few things and I have a few of some things. <laughs> All right. And so you want to make sure you establish a strategy for yourself. What is work? What is going to work best for you? But financial freedom, you have to be able to replace those living expenses. And I'm going to tell you, having a job is only going to keep you in the wheel of paying for the expenses and not necessarily getting off the wheel. So you got to be able to have a strategy that's going to help you transition off of that. And so I'm so grateful for, you know, being able to be connected to an amazing family, Wealth Builders Worldwide, because it's really helped to educate my husband and I to know, you know, what it is that we need to do truly so that our children and our children's children do not have to ever work a job, period. Okay. And, and so we're grateful for that. We know that what we have is a willable part of our estate. Uh, because we have we have assets, okay? We have plenty of assets. And you, for those of you who are really truly trying to create generational wealth, you want to establish, you want to start accumulating assets. And of course, have that cash flow coming in. And that's why I enjoy the fact that I'm connected to coaches who are helping me to leverage Facebook, coaches that are helping me to grow, you know, my network, which is one of my assets, okay? And so again, you need to be connected to the right people. And so if you're looking for the right people, if you're looking for coaches or mentors to help you leverage Facebook, to help you build your wealth, you have connected with the right stream and the right mentor. And I'll be more than glad, humbled, of course, that, that you would want to learn more. So listen, go ahead for those of you who are seeking to learn, for example, how to really truly use Facebook to grow your business, go ahead and reply how below. Okay. And I'll be in touch with you. Now, for those of you who are looking to, you know, activate several streams of income and really try to accumulate assets for yourself that makes money for you, 
there are several things you can do. Number one, you can inbox me or the person that shared the stream with you. We'll give you information because there's a presentation that's happening tonight at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time that you will want to be on. Okay, it's going to give you more information about activating seven streams into your life. And then also, listen, as you're tuning into this, there's yet more information I want to share. There's there's actually technically about six of them, but there's a seventh, you know, that's really, really, truly powerful. Okay, it's a way that you can just, you know, you can truly earn something amazing because of your efforts of serving others. And so we'll be glad to give you more information about this, everybody. But there is a presentation going on at nine. If you go to goldrocks.info, you'll be able to join us on the platform, but you will need a password to join in, okay? It is password protected. But otherwise, guys, listen, I'll be back tomorrow night, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time with some more content here with the Leadership TKO Live Night Show. So until then, I want to encourage each and every one of you to think, to speak, and to live leadership. Good night, everyone, and God bless.